Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is automatically get email attachments on WhatsApp. Now suppose guys you are a working professional and you must be receiving a lots and lots of emails on a daily basis. That too with attachments. Now to check the attachment on that email, you have to sign to your email inbox, then check that mail and then view that attachment. But this is a very much time consuming and lengthy process. But what if I tell you that every time you receive an email with attachment, you can get that attachment automatically as a WhatsApp message on your number. Yes guys, this is possible and that too using Pavli Connect. So in this video, I will show you how you can set up an automation by which whenever we will receive a new email on our Gmail account, automatically the attachment of that email will be received to us on our number as a WhatsApp message. You must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now, what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can do this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for pabbly.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I'll name my workflow as Gmail attachments to WhatsApp. Gmail attachments to WhatsApp and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. So first one is trigger window and second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on. Where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of every new mail which we are receiving in our Gmail account inside Pavli Connect with the attachment attached to this new mail. And after that using Pavli Connect we will send the attachment of that mail to our own number on WhatsApp. So here in trigger window in choose app we have to search for email parcel. So Email Parser by Pavli is a tool by Pavli Connect, a feature by Pavli Connect using which we can get the, all the mails which we are receiving on our Gmail account inside Pavli Connect. So after selecting Email Parser by Pavli, Pavli Connect gave us an email address over here. And this email address is a special email address guys. All the emails received on this email address can be seen inside Pavli Connect. So basically, we will forward all the emails which we are receiving on our Gmail account to this very same email address. And after that, all the emails on our Gmail account will be forwarded and we will receive all the emails on our Gmail account inside Pavli Connect. Then using Pavli Connect, we will extract the file attached to those emails and get those files on WhatsApp. So for that, to forward the Gmail emails from our Gmail account to this PC Mailhook email address, we just have to first copy it from Pavli Connect go to a Gmail account and after reaching to a Gmail account, click on the settings button on the right side and click on see all settings. After that, we have an option here named as forwarding and POP slash IMAP. Click on it and here we have to basically click on add a forwarding address. Paste the PC Mailhook webhook URL and after that click on next. It is asking us for the confirmation, so click on proceed. And then it is showing us a confirmation code sent to this very same email address which we have added over here. So guys, as I told you, all the emails which we send on, or all the emails we send on this very particular PC mail email is captured inside Pavli Connect. So Gmail has sent a verification code to this very same email address and we will find that very same mail inside Pavli Connect. And yes guys, we can see that here in Pavli Connect we have received a response in our trigger window and this response is of a mail which we have received from Gmail team. So in this response we have can see that we have received a mail and when we will scroll down we will find an option named as body text. And in this body text section we have the complete body of the email. And here we have a confirmation code. 
So Gmail has sent the confirmation confirmation code to this very same email address, and we have to paste the confirmation code over here. And after that, we just have to click on verify. And it is verified. So all the emails of our Gmail account is now successfully forwarded to this very same email address, which we have received inside Pavli Connect. Now after connecting our Gmail account and Pavli Connect, we have to basically send a test email, a dummy email to this very same Gmail account, which we have connected. So I will use some other account. So I have a new account over here. We'll go to a new tab, change our Google account. This is our Google account, Ryan Klaus. Go to Gmail. And here we have another account. So the name of this user is Ryan Glasgow. So we will send an email to Michael Karas, the account which we have connected with Pavli Connect using email passer. We will send an email from some other account. So I guess you must be having some other account. So let's compose a mail. Enter the email address of Michael Karas. The subject line is we are just testing. So that's a dummy subject line. Hello, Michael. We are just testing this automation. Thank you. Okay, so this is just a basic email which I have uh, created in this window. Thank you. And after that, we have to basically attach a file to this very same email so that we can also receive the response of, of a new file or new file attachment inside Pavli Connect. And then we will send that very same file to a number as a WhatsApp message. So let's attach a new file. We'll go to desktop and I have a dummy PDF file over here. So let's attach this. And then before we send it, we, we will go back to Pavli Connect. And here we can see an option named as recapture email parser response. Just click on it. Click on yes. And now it is showing us waiting for email parser response. Now from this account, Ryan Glasgow will send an email and the email is sent. Now we will see that on the Michael Karas account, the account which we have connected with Pavli Connect, we will receive a new email. And yes, guys, we can see that just now from Ryan Glasgow, we have received an email and this is the attachment of that email. Hello, Michael, we are just testing this automation. Thank you and the attachment. Now guys, because we have connected our Gmail account with Pavli Connect and forwarded all the mails, all the emails which we receive on our Gmail account to Pavli Connect, we will see that the response or the data of this very same new email which we have received will also be captured inside Pavli Connect. So let's get back to Pavli Connect. Here it is showing us waiting for email parser response. Let's wait for a few seconds. And yes guys, we can see that after waiting for a few seconds, we have received the very same email address which we have sent from our, our another email address to Michael Karas, the account which we have connected with Pavli Connect. We have received the very same email address response for very same email address over here. So this email is sent from this user by name as Ryan Glasgow. This is the email address. The subject line of this email is we are just testing. Then when we'll, we will scroll down, we will find other details regarding the very same email address. And at last, in front of body text, we'll have the actual body of the email. As well as at last, we also have the attachment link of the file attachment which we have received from this email. So this is the link of that very same file attachment. We will copy this link, paste it in a new tab, and we will see that the file op will open, the very same file which we sent via email. So guys, basically the step one of setting up this automation is now successfully completed. We have successfully received the details of the response of new mails receiving on our Google account on our Gmail account with the file attachment links which are attached in that mail. Now we want to send this very same details to WhatsApp by AI Sensei so that by using WhatsApp by AI Sensei we can send WhatsApp message to ourselves with the for, uh, with the attachment link file attachment link. For that we will scroll down and come to our action window and here in choose app we will search for WhatsApp by AI Sensei. After that, we in action event, we will select send template message, click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to basically connect our WhatsApp by AI Sensei account with Pavli Connect to send the messages. And to make the connection, we need API key of our AI Sensei account. So here you will be thinking how we are going to get the AI API key. So to get the API key, go to the dashboard of your AI Sensei account and on the left side, click on this manage button. And after that, click on API key. And here you will find the API key of your AI Sensei account. Copy this API key from here, go back to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. 
and click on save. And now we can see that the connection is complete. So after connecting our AI Sensei account, it is asking us for the campaign name. So basically to send the messages on using AI Sensei, to send WhatsApp messages using AI Sensei, we have to first create a campaign in AI Sensei and enter the name of that particular campaign over here. So why don't we create a new campaign in this video? So we'll go to our AI Sensei account and above manage, we have an option named as campaign. So just click on it. And here you can see all the campaigns which we have created in our AI Sensei account. So by clicking on this launch button, you can create a new comp campaign. Just click on it, select API over here and give this campaign a name. For example, I'll name this campaign as email attachment. Email attachments. Then after that, we have to basically create a template message. I guess you must be knowing how we can create a template message inside WhatsApp by AI Sensei. So we have to select the template message which we want to use in this campaign. So the template which I will be using in this video is named as so this is the template email attachment. Select the template and click on set live. So this is the template message which I want to send. So it's a basic message guys which says hello Akash means my name. You have just received a new mail from. So here we will have the email address of the person who has sent us the email. Then after that we'll have the subject line of the email as well as the link of the attachment file which they have sent in the email. Thank you regards. So this is the message which I want to receive on my WhatsApp. So after creating the campaign, just click on go to campaign and we have to basically add the name of this very same campaign over here in Pabli Connect. So just add the name, email attachment, then it is asking us for the mobile number. So here we have to enter the mobile number of our own WhatsApp account. So basically I'll enter the mobile number on my, of my WhatsApp account on which I want to receive the WhatsApp message. Then after entering our mobile number, that too with plus sign and country code which as it is written in help text over here. After that, we have to enter the username. So I want to receive the message on my own number. So I will enter my own username as Akash as that is my name. Then it is asking us for the source. So for example, it is not mandatory to enter the source, but I'll still enter Gmail as the source. We can ignore the field of tags for now. And then it is asking us template parameters. So here in the template which I have created, you can see that I have added some parameters, some numbers in double curly braces. So basically the text in place of these parameters will be keep changing for every sending message. So to add these kind of dynamic tags, I have added some parameters. So in public connect here, we have to enter the text in which, uh, which we want to add in place of these term parameters. So in place of parameter one, we want to, to add the email address of the person who sent us the mail. So first in uh, template parameter, we will map the email address of the person and we have received the email address, the sender's email address in the response, which we have received from email parser. So here we have the email address of the sender. So we have to basically map this very same email address over here in the template parameter field. And as we all know, the process of mapping is very simple. We just have to simply click on this field and in the drop down below, we can see all the responses of new email, which we have received from email parser can be seen over here. And out of all these responses, select the response for sender's email address. Now, after mapping the template parameter for our first variable, first parameter, now in second parameter, we wanted to add the subject line of the email which we received. So here we will add a comma and from the drop down below, we'll map the subject line of the email which we have received. Then once again, we'll add another comma and in the place of third parameter, we wanted to add the attachment link. So here we'll map the link of the uh, attachment file. So here at last we have received the link for attachment file. So in this way, we have ma mapped all the required details of template parameter. After that, the attributes, URL and file name, all these fields can be ignored for now and just click on save and send test request. Now, after clicking on save and send test request, we have a received a response and this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that a WhatsApp message with our selected template under our campaign is now sent on this number of hours. So let's check the WhatsApp account of this very same number. So let's go to WhatsApp. And yes, guys, here we can see that we have received a WhatsApp message over here, which says, hello, Akash means my name. You have just received a new email from and we have the email address of the sender who sent us the mail. 
subject we are just testing and we have the link of the file attachment which they, we have attached in the email. Let's click on this link and in the new tab we can see that the very same file opened up. So guys we saw that the automation the workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now every time I will receive a new email on my gmail account automatically the file attachment of that very same email will be received to me as a whatsapp message with the file attachment link. So let's get back to Pavli Connect guys and understand in brief that what are the factors, what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation. So first we created a workflow inside Pavli Connect where we have selected email parser in our trigger window and the email parser email which we have received by using email parser we have basically forwarded all the emails of our Gmail account to that particular email so that we can receive all the emails which we are receiving on our Gmail account inside Pavli Connect. After receiving that, after making the connection, we have sent and test email from some other account with the file attachment to the account which we have connected to Pavli Connect. And then we saw that we have received the response and in that response we have received the file attachment link as well. After that we have used WhatsApp by AI Sensei to send WhatsApp message to our number with the sender's email, with the subject line of the email as well as the file attachment link. So not just these applications guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this very same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video, don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you, have a nice day.